Okay, in this video, we're going to talk about S3 bucket versioning. <clears throat> Excuse me. And we're going to just show a quick demo of how versioning works in S3. So this page right here, this is actually a, um, a good explanation of how versioning works. And you can see here that when you delete something from an S3 bucket, if you have versioning enabled, it doesn't actually delete it. It creates a delete marker, and then you can still access the previous versions of that, um, of that file or object. And I'm going to show you how we can do that in S3. Okay, So what we'll do is we have a public website right now in S3, and I already made a video about that, and I'll link it. Um, what we'll do is we'll enable versioning on that um, on that bucket, and then we're going to upload different versions of the index.html file, version two, version three. Then we're going to delete it and show how what how you still can have access to the other versions. And then we'll uh, upload another version of version four. We'll delete that. We'll delete the delete marker. And I'll just show you how you can work with the different versions of the file so you can still access them even after you delete them. So if we go into our S3 console here, we have this bucket right here, test website static Misha. As you can see, it's public. And I'm going to go in, go into the properties. We've enabled it for static website hosting and all the other permissions, including the uh, bucket policy that I covered in another video. And here's the endpoint. So if we look at that endpoint, there's the website right here. Okay, so it's working. We know it's good. So what we're going to do now is we're going to create a second, actually, we're going to enable versioning on the bucket first. So we'll go back here, go into the properties. As you can see right here, there's versioning, and we'll enable versioning right here. We'll do that. We'll save it. So now this is enabled. It's a static website hosting that's enabled. If we go into the overview, now we could see this versions right here, hide and show. If we do show, you see how it's showing null for the version ID. So that's a version ID. So AWS creates a unique version uh, ID for every version of your file. But because we didn't start these um, files with versioning, we didn't start the bucket with versioning, um, that's why it just says no. But if we, we're going to upload now a, a new version, and you're going to see it's going to show a, a new version ID. So what we'll do is we'll go into our index.html file, and we're just going to change it to say v2, just like that. So then we could tell it's the new version. And then we'll go to the bucket, and we'll say upload, add files, and we'll say index.html. And we'll just say upload. Great. And now you could see there's the new version ID of our file. And if we refresh the endpoint, there you could see v2. So now we know it's displaying the latest version of our file. What I'll do is I'll, I'll, I'll show you again. I'm going to make another version. We'll call it v3, just like that. And then I'll go back to my bucket, I'll upload another index.html. Now you're going to see, okay, see it made another version ID. So now we have the original version 2, version 3. And if I go back to my site and I refresh it, now it's showing v3. So we know it's displaying the right version. Okay, so what I'll do now is I will delete the file from my bucket. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the versions. And if I just select the index and I say delete, it will delete the bucket just like that. So it looks like it's not there. But if I actually enable the versioning like this to show, so I could see the three versions are still there. It put this delete marker in place to kind of say the file is deleted. And if I try to access the site, I get a 404. So as far as the public is concerned, that site is not accessible anymore. But it's still in S3. Okay. So what I'll do now is I'll actually create another version of this file. We'll call it version 4. So like this. Say like that, version 4. And I'll go back to my 
uh, bucket, and I'm going to upload that index.html. We'll save that. And now you can see right here, so after the delete marker, there's a latest version, that's version four. So if I refresh my endpoint, there it is, version four. Great. So now we have different versions of our file. We actually have delete markers. Now I want to show you that you can actually delete specific versions of your file. So for instance, if I go in here, I can delete that version of my file and now it will be permanently deleted. So I can say actions delete and it's going to be that version that's deleted. If I save that, see it's back to the delete marker and if I refresh the page here, I'm going to get a 404. So now it's back to the 404. But I can now delete the delete marker and I should be back to version 3. So I can say I can say actions delete. So I'm deleting the delete marker. So now I should have version 3 as, as displaying on my website. And there it is, version 3. So what I could even do is I could delete version 3 and version 2 together, just like that. And now I should just be back to the original version of that website. If I refresh it, there it is, and now I'm back. So this is how versioning works. You can delete, uh, there's delete markers, and you can also delete specific versions of the file, but as you can see, S3 saves all the different versions in your file, uh, in your bucket.